What's going on guys? Back here with another video today and today we're going to be talking about the GMC Sierra AT4, the latest and greatest pickup iteration from GMC and I got to say that I and myself am very excited to see this truck especially coming from GM but that being said let's go ahead and jump into the video. Um, so yeah this uh, 2019 GMC Sierra AT4 was revealed a few months ago and the initial response was that similar to of when uh, Chevy and GMC released this latest 2019 a pickup truck. A lot of people were very skeptical, hated the design, didn't really like it. So the AT4 was met with criticism, criticism at first, but I got to say I myself really liked it initially. And I thought it was really cool because in the past we have not seen GMC, Chevrolet, GM in general do a modified truck and you know this thing really isn't that modified you know you compare it to the raptor which has the fox shocks and you know the the different styling the different fenders um but the gmc sierra at4 is definitely something it, it's a it's a step <laughs> and that's the only thing we can hope for with these auto manufacturers sometimes they do play the conservative game but i am really excited to see this step on the Sierra AT4, you are going to see a two inch front lift that is going to help the stance out quite a bit and give it that more aggressive look. You are going to see the painted grill, the painted handles, the painted mirrors, and it's really going to give that overall more sportier, aggressive look that some might compare it to, say, the Dodge Rebel or you know something like a Ford Raptor and I guess you could say this is GMC's version of the Raptor but it's you know if you compare apples to apples it's it's really two different trucks because the, the Raptor obviously is more performance based it has the better shocks it, I mean this the GMC Sierra AT4 does have the Rancho upgraded shocks but you know they really don't compare to those that come on the Ford Raptor but that being said, I don't really want to compare the two trucks because I don't think really that's fair so much, but um, what GMC is doing here is just really impressive. It's a great offering in my opinion, and is it something that you should pick up? Is it something that uh, would be a good direction to go if you're in the market for a new truck? And I would say for a lot of people, yes. Um, you know, most people, whenever they get a truck, they will level to level the front end out. And if you can buy that from the factory and not have to worry about it, not have to go to the shop, not have to drop your truck off for a day, you know, it's just one of those things that you just don't have to worry about. And I think that this model here is going to be not as popular at first. So you're going to be, you know, one of those unique people on the road with a AT4 if you do decide to pick it up. That being said, uh, the, the standard options on this thing, it comes with the 5.3 liter V8 factory or stock um, as a standard equipment. And the upgrade options are you can get the 6.2 liter V8 or you can get the 3 liter Duramax, which I am super excited to see. And I can't wait for that thing to show its face. I know GMC and Chevy have been teasing it for a little while now and I am ready to see that thing and see how it performs against other options in the field. So that being said, the GMC Sierra AT4 does have some pretty cool looking seats in it. It has some cool stitching and at first I thought I saw some Alcantara in there which would have been really really neat but I, after closer inspection it just looks like it's standard leather and some perforation stuff but overall this this one right here are uh, these two right here have, have a, a few really cool features um their the body match or color match body panels that it, it just looks really clean and crisp and sporty and just has a great stance and does come with uh either the all-terrain or the mud tires an 18 inch or a 20 inch wheel so if you like it and you know don't i think it's definitely a good option for those that are looking for something a little bit different um you know if you get the denali it's really you know the denali is like top of class um and, and a lot of chrome and all that stuff and some people like it and i think a lot of people tend to go for the denali because they think it is the top of the line but you know really think about what you want from the truck and i, I think that this sporty truck with this stance i think it looks really nice so that being said Glad you watched the video. Thank you for that. Be sure to subscribe down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time. Thanks guys. Have a great day.